Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner-friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. Today we are going to design a quote generator in App Inventor. In this project, I will teach you how to create your own quote generator for Father's Day celebration on App Inventor. It's basically an app that generates a random quote from the list you provide once you shake the device. So let's get started. We'll start by creating a new empty project on App Inventor. From this screen, we'll change its title to Happy Father's Day. So for us to do that, we just have to scroll down through the properties column. And over here, you'll see the title, which is currently screen one. That's a default title. But since um, we want to change it to Happy Father's Day, you'll notice once we scroll back and look at the screen, now we've changed the screen title into Happy Father's Day. Then we'll add three components to make our project work. First, we'll add a label, which is under the user interface section. So once you click user interface, you'll notice there's a label. We want to click on that and drag it into the screen. And there you have it. Secondly, we want to add a accelerometer sensor, which could be found in the sensor section. Down here, you'll notice there's an accelerometer sensor. Same thing, we drag it in and drop it. And you'll notice it's a non-visible component, which means it's something you cannot see. Okay, awesome. Last, we're gonna need to add a text-to-speech object, which is found in the media section. So we'll click on media and we will find the text-to-speech over here, drop it, and there you have it. Uh, we got another non-visible component and we got three total components. So the label will display our Father's Day message. The accelerometer will be used to detect when we shake the phone and the text-to-speech can be used to say out loud our message. Now we want to change the design of our screen. So there's actually a couple ways to do that. You can either add a background picture or make it a plain color. Let me show you how to do this. So I decided to add a background color. For me to be able to do that, I can just click on upload file over here at the bottom of your screen in the media section. And once I click on that, I get to choose a file and I'm gonna choose a file from my downloads and choose it and click okay. And there you'll notice that there's something added now into our media. And that's the, the, the picture that I, I've uploaded. So we want to save it, then we want to go to the background image in the screen configuration and upload that image. So for us to be able to do that, we would have to go to screen one. And you'll notice here there's a background image and it currently says none. And that's why our background color is empty or our background image. So we click on it and you'll notice now we have the media that we've uploaded. So we just have to click OK. And there you have it. This is the image I uploaded and now it's showing on my screen. So in here, you can also change the alignment of your label. So for us to do that, we can just click on align horizontal, which is currently says left. And that's why you'll notice that our label is on the left. But since we want to put that in the middle for better um, presentation, we just want to click on center and there you have it. Awesome. Okay. So next thing we want to do is we want to change the labels text into something more meaningful. So we can easily do that by clicking on the label and changing the text instead of text for label one, we want to put a meaningful message. So perhaps something like shake for a father's day message. That way it's not just a title, but it's an instruction as well. So shake for a father's day message. Awesome. And we can even change the font size. If it's a little bit too small for you, we can change from 14 to 20 and there you go. It's much clearer. So make sure it reads as any instruction and maybe a meaningful message and you're good with that. Now we can move on to the coding section. So we want to start off by creating a new variable. I'll name it quotes. So I'm just going to click on the variable section and I'm going to initialize a global name. 
Instead of global name, however, I want to change the name to quotes. And then I want to attach a list to that. So for us to be able to do that, we can go ahead and click on list. And we just want to make a list. You'll notice uh, we can only add two things onto the list since there's only two connectors over here. And since I want to add a list of five quotes, I can click on this blue button and add three more items into the list. One, two, three. And I click on the button again. And now you'll notice I have five connectors. And so for me to be able to add um, a quote for each, I can just click on text and get this empty string block. And I'm just going to add five of those. Awesome. Here we have it. Perfect. And this is the fun part. Now we can add five different quotes uh, that we'd want. So I got five ready. Um, my first one will be number one, dad in the world. All right. Second, I want to say, I'm so proud to be your kid. And another one would be, you make growing up fun. And next, I got to say, dad, you're in all my favorite memories. And lastly, I want to say, you're the best dad. Awesome, there you got it. So you don't necessarily have to follow my quotes. Uh, you can find your own quotes, create your own quotes. Feel free to do that. The last part is also pretty simple. We need to make it so that when we shake the phone, we display a random quote. Remember that randomness is when we don't want we don't know what the next outcome is going to be. First of all, this event will happen when we shake the phone. So we want to start off by grabbing the when accelerometer sensor one dot shaking block from the accelerometer sensor one section. So you'll notice here we got the this event, which is exactly what we need. And inside of this block, we can put all the instructions we want to run when we shake the phone. So first, we will set the label to the random message. So for us to be able to do that, we need to go to the label one section and we can use the set label one text to block to change the text of the label. So like I said, we go to the label one, set label one dot text, and we want to add that in. And we want to set that to a random item in the list. So for us to be able to do that, there's actually a block that gives us a random item, which is found in the list. Uh, you can go ahead and grab that block and plug it in. And we want to get that random item from our quotes list or quotes variable. So over here in variables, uh, we can just get this block and assign it the variable name called quotes. Awesome. Last thing we need to do is we want to get the text to speech block, which will be found over here. And we want to get the call text to speech dot speak block. So we want to add that in. And in terms of the message, we want to make it the text of label one. So over here in text, oh, sorry, over in label one, I'm going to get the label one dot text. So over here, uh, the message will simply be the text we set before, which we can see as a light green block below, which is the set text to label one. So there you have it. Awesome. You can now show your dad this project to celebrate Father's Day. And here we have the finished project.
Good job. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Also, check out these other two videos here while you're waiting for the next one. Thank you and goodbye.